that is one thing I want you to take notice of. I remember a friend used to tell me that if I have to rise the IELTS 200 times before I pass, I should do it. And I think it's an encouraging factor that I have to look into. Don't just think that once you go in and then you don't get it, then you are giving up. That wouldn't really help you build that dream. I mean, it's about persistency. You know, most times, yeah, so, so you know, it's about you not giving up and then uh, pushing for it to get the actual score. And I think that if you want to pursue your EK nursing journey, your USC nursing journey, your Australian nursing journey, and IELTS is serving as a stumbling block for you. What I want to say is that don't give up. Just keep trying the IELTS because that is the most important thing I can see. Otherwise, you just end up not pursuing that dream and that will go against you. So remember, whether you wrote IELTS on 200 times, you wrote IELTS just once, you wrote IELTS on, what, I mean, which number of times you have to write. I don't know the day, the destination is the UK. I don't know the day, the destination is the US. I don't know the day, the destination is Canada or wherever. So just keep an eye. This is all I wanted to share with you in this video. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye.